Ten Cup have had to do two. A big save by Fucali and Zach trying to squeeze the rebound. It's still loose down there. No whistle. Trying to fish that puck code. Taken away by Darcy. He'll play it back to the point. Fake slapper. Darcy had it on his stick. One timer. What a save by Fucali. Oh, baby, that was the honey of a stop right there. Morgan Ellis. Trying to shot that hit a skate. Hanley glove it down. Cut it over here. Thomas the drive. Oh my goodness. What a rocket by Christian Thomas. At feed. Here's Craig Bar stepping inside the zone. Let it go. Kotlemski's with a glove hand save on the eighth. Here's the top. They score. The puck pounced out in front. And Gabriel Duba, the captain, beats Kotlemski's at 354. And the St. John Tights cap have opened up. A one to nothing lead. It'll come here for Tambellini. Back for Pekka. Pekka dropped it back. Tambellini couldn't get a shot. Loose and they hit the LA score and hit the post first. The ice caps couldn't find it. It was in the skates of Brett Lernode. Gregoire tries to bust free. Jeremy Gregoire getting an opportunity. And he set it up for Fournier, but he couldn't get the shot away. No call there. Here's an opportunity. Thomas's shot. That gets blocked. Another one. Kotlemski's made the save. Holloway trying to separate himself in the feed. And now a chance for Hudon going in. Pitt save Guzlenski's. I can dish one here. And Daniel Carr with an opportunity. He let it fly. And Guzlenski's made the save. Another shot. They're beating her down here. Carr almost had the go ahead tally. First. Oh, the Syracuse Crunch almost a combat too many men. Here's an opportunity now. Carr in front. Oh, McCarron got stoned by Kristers Guzlenski. Here is. McCarron one more time. Daniel Carr batting a puck down, and he almost slipped that through the short side there. Holloway is away. Here's Holloway stepping in. Who the One tie and a fifth trip to extra time for the Ice Caps. Caribbean scores. That'll end it right there. The Ice Caps lose on the goal by Matt Caramino. Well, you know, obviously, uh, you know, going in, into overtime, uh, you know, I'd rather go into overtime than a 1 1 game than an 8 8 game. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, uh, I thought we battled hard in the third period, probably uh, our best third period in a while that we played tonight. And uh, we had some scoring chances, and didn't, didn't give them too much. And even uh, in overtime, we did have some chances, some uh, really good chances. And, you know, the, their goalie made some big saves there. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with the weekend. Uh, you know, obviously you want, uh, you know, four points on the weekend, but especially against an arch, uh, arch rival uh, like, like Syracuse. Uh, but, you know, all in all, you know, I, with the points that we got over the, the home stand, you know, I, you know, we got to be happy with that. And now we got to go on the road and, uh, and do what we uh, we have to do on the road. The overtime hero last night got called up, Andrew Ghetto. What was it like adjusting to him out of the lineup in this game? Well, we played with seven defensemen tonight, and uh, probably a good thing we did was uh, Darren Dietz, uh, you know, got hurt uh, in the second period, blocking a shot. And uh, you know we still had six defensemen, so but in that game, you know, it gave me a chance to, to double shift some of the guys, and even uh, Jeremy Grigard. I think uh, I thought that had a, had a good game, and uh, you know our uh, third line gave us some uh, some good shifts. Even the fourth line, you know, a few times, you know, gave us gave us some good shifts. So, uh, but you know, uh, like I said, I like the fact that in the third period we uh, we played a lot better than we've uh, we've done lately.